Hey guys, so I just ended another video, but it was like a separate video. So hello, welcome to a new video. I wanted to show you. Look at what Becky got me. She got me these the other night. We don't have a vase right now, so <laughs> we have them in this like pitcher thing, but look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It was so appreciated because she was thinking of me and I was like, oh. So I just made Becky a salad. I'm gonna have me like a veggie patty, but chicken, arugula, baby arugula, some red seedless grapes, cucumber, and I think I said chicken already. Oh my gosh. Oh, and this is the dressing. Panera bread, balsamic vinaigrette, and it's low sodium, so. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So I'm having some grapes, which I already ate some. A bagel with a veggie patty, cucumber, and very light layer of cream cheese. So that's what I'm having. Okay, you guys, so it's been a while since I said hello, but I wanted to try these on camera. It's the Good Thins Sweet Potato. I don't know. So I'm gonna try these. You wanna hold it for me? Okay. So I have a little camera girl helping me. She loves it too because those are kind of Oh my That's cute. Okay. So this is like 60% less fat than regular potato chips. I don't know. It's just like a healthier alternative if I'm really like craving. You want to try one? There you go. Okay. Uh-huh. She's a little camera girl, isn't that cute? Oh, cute. You wanna try one? Okay. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I wanna do a little bit of a torrid haul, but I just wanna say I have gotten a lot of questions. People are like, okay, you're going through something right now, but like, you don't seem very sad on your Snapchat because you're hanging out with friends or whatever. The last two days, I did hang out with Dana and Destiny and their nieces and nephew. And I just feel like finding a distraction if you are like, super depressed or you're going through something really hard like even me just saying that makes me want to cry because it's like <sighs> I just don't want to talk about it like a lot of people like also messaged me and said we like I can literally tell that something is like hurting you and it is um maybe one day we'll share it I don't really know like ugh, it's just hard right now so I just feel like finding distractions that is not food is probably the best way to go so I just want to kind of talk like I just wanted to talk about that and like say you know just because my friends make me smile and my girlfriend makes me smile or like we laugh or something doesn't mean I'm not hurting it's just I am purposely trying to find those distractions so I can stop hurting just for a little while so the first thing is actually this dress that I got from Torrid it's great it has these pink flowers and it's super soft i got that in a size five but i just decided to put this one on because loved it next thing i got is this sweater it is size six which is going to be super cozy it is like a cream white up top then a really light brown or tan color a pink and then purple super long soft feels comfy the front is kind of v-neck style the back looks like that so i'm super excited for this so to me this is like a cardigan shirt sweater it's gray with black polka dots but i feel like i'd wear this open because it does have these buttons i want to wear it as a cardigan not like a sweater shirt style so that's why I got it in a size five because I knew I wanted to wear it in a cardigan and it's super thin and it's lightweight so it's gonna be perfect for the fall so I got another dress this is a size five it is super cute because it has this lace in the front it's also in the back and there's like a little button situation so I'm gonna probably have Becky help me with that but this is just more of like a fancier dress because I can tell because of the material. I think it's super cute. I can just imagine myself like wearing some gold jewelry or pairing it even with some colorful jewelry to be honest. Like you could do anything with just a black dress. 
So the last thing I got, which is the same material as this dress, is this super soft, long sleeve, green dress in size five. So literally a dress. I'm talking, when I call these soft, I'm talking like, it feels like one of those super soft blankets. That's how this feels. It feels amazing. And I just figured this would be really good for the upcoming months of like November and December because it's very Christmassy and I'm that type of person where when November 1st hits, it's Christmas, honey. So right now I'm cooking Becky and I dinner. Right here we just have some green beans boiling. These are fresh green beans from the produce aisle. We're gonna have a little bit of pasta and shrimp. I use water for everything, but I have water and some Pam cooking spray on this. Look at that baby right there. She is all tuckered out. She's had a long and adventurous day today. All right, so there is our dinner. It looks good. And no, I do not cut off the ends. Don't come for me in the comments, because I know you will. But yeah, it looks a little messy right here, but. So I'm kind of nervous for the green beans. Because <laughs> making fresh green beans to me is hard because I'm not like used to it. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. It's okay. Um, I didn't add any salt. We're doing a thing where we don't add any salt to anything. All I added was garlic powder and garlic salt which is like sodium free or whatever. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can definitely tell. Mm. The shrimp is good though. And the pasta, plain. Which I enjoy. Mm. Taking a bite of the shrimp and the pasta together is like for the win, so. You guys so it's comment of the day i was about to press load comments when i haven't even pasted it yet okay so the last video i uploaded was what i ate today and there's over 2500 comments on it and yeah so i have a feeling it's gonna be a hate comment because i was honest with what i ate which a lot of people you know asked me to do but i guess we'll see all right so randomly pick winner take my mind off of it with some dumplings i guess that's a quote that i said in the video and that's why you'll never ever succeed in weight loss rip amberlynn reed 2019 okay this is cruel like that right there like i'm not i'm not bothered but morally that's just something kind of messed up to say so when i said take my mind off of it with dumplings i i do eat for comfort a lot of the time and the thing is that meal was already something i was gonna eat something i was planning to eat it wasn't strictly to comfort myself but it definitely helped. So I think there's a huge difference for me. Everybody is different. Like it would have been so much different if I got the dumplings just to comfort myself. That is what I'm trying to stop doing. That I'm trying to stop binging, etc. But I was already planning on eating dumplings. I would have ate them if I was the happiest woman alive. If I wasn't going through something right now or anything, I would have still ate them. It's just, I knew that for that little bit, while I was eating those yummy dumplings, I was gonna feel a little bit better. And I don't, I don't care that I said that. That's just like reality of it because a lot of people feel that way. And I'm not the only one. There are skinny people who feel that way, tall people who feel that way. It's not just people who are my size. But in my opinion, I'm actually doing really good with my eating. I am trying to eat less out. You know, there's random takeout like you guys saw in last video with the dumplings in Singapore, which I didn't even finish. I actually, Becky actually threw it away today because she was cleaning out the refrigerator and she was like, are you going to keep this? And I was like, you know what? I probably shouldn't because normally I would have kept it and I would have ate it, but instead I cooked dinner for us tonight. But yeah, like I'm really proud of myself and the choices I've been making lately. 
like I said, everyone's different. Like, what I would normally eat in a day was, you know, a lot of fast food and a lot of candy and such. And I haven't had, like, candy or sweets and actually, it's been a hot minute. For me, it's been a hot minute. And I'm just, like, thoroughly proud of that. So, anyways, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.